With the Twinket 3 XCAD interface, you can easily exchange I.O. topology data between the electrical design and the software development. The new version is based on a standardized exchange format, the so-called Automation ML, and a new basic component in Twinket, the AML Data Exchange. And this component enables you to import an already existing I.O. topology into your Twinket project which means the I.O. topology is automatically added to your Twinket project. And if you would like to use this functionality at an early stage in your project, this is also easily possible because an incremental data update is available. So if you have imported the first version, you can already start implementing your PLC code, changing other settings in your Twinket project. And if the second version is ready, simply import it again, and Twinket automatically starts the Twinket project compare tool. So you can easily compare the already existing version of your I.O. topology with the new version. And you can simply decide which of the changes you would like to import into your existing project without losing any changes which you have already implemented. If we switch to a later stage in your um, project, for example, the commissioning phase, and there is any late changes necessary, for example, um, changing uh, I.O. terminal, then you would like to update also the ICA tool side. And this is also possible with the help of a bidirectional data exchange. So you can simply export this new updated I.O. topology and import it into the ICA tool side. And this new workflow, which is now available, can be um, extended with the help of the new version of the XCAD interface. This XCAD interface is now internally using this AML data exchange, but it is kind of extending the workflow with the help of so-called XCAD plugins, which you can use to enrich and change the content of the AML file. And therefore, we have added two predefined plugins. The first one can be used to automatically during the import, create PLC content. So a global variable list, variables, which are already connected and linked to your I.O. channels. And in addition, as those names for the variables are set automatically on the ICA tool side, there is a second plugin available, which you can use to convert those variable names into valid PLC variable names. But we can also use this XCAD to add further information, like, for example, a comment, which is already in, uh, added on the ICAD tool side. Just import it and add it in Twinket 3 in the I.O. topology or, for example, on the variable declaration. And in addition, it is also possible to define I.O. templates. So if you have specific terminals, for example, which are always configured the same way, you can save a template and use it during other imports into your Twinket project. So all in all, we can say that with the help of the new XCAD interface, you can increase the efficiency of your engineering workflow from point of view of data exchange between the electrical design and the control development.